Hi, this is Julius Lindorfer, uh, author of Hot Ale Insight, uh, Mission Critical Magazine. We're here at the Mission Critical uh, uh, Conference and uh, just been talking about all the things that are happening in our industry, uh, between liquid cooling, free air cooling, all the changes in the data center, the changes in the IT equipment. And I recently wrote a column called Darwin in the Data Center. And what this is about is really looking at all the things happening on the IT side of the equipment, obsolescence, the rate of change, and looking at the building. Now the building is typically something that you put up once every 15 or 20 years and then hope all the pieces and parts that go in and out of there, the critical payload, will fit. Uh, the thinking towards that has sort of changed. We're beginning to realize that the rate of change for IT equipment is far, far greater than the building can accept over that period of time. We've always relied on the fact that we can adapt and change, but the reality is the rate of change has gotten a little bit more than we can normally proceed. Also, the way we're looking at technology, it's become an industrialized process. The question is, do we look at IT as a you know, server-hugging mentality? Do we look at it as a cloud? Do we look at it as something in between the two? And you know, the, the, the basic issue is, do we need the building to be constructed in the same vein and mentality of design as we do previously? I think everyone, to one degree or another, will understand that a 20-year design is not necessarily going to be workable based on the rate of change in IT. We don't have a solution for this problem. We don't know if liquid cooling is going to be one aspect of it. We don't know whether it's going to be all free air cooling. We don't even know what the form factor of the IT is going to be. We do know that economics tends to play into this. We want the cheapest possible way to compute. We tend to look at you know, the ability to compute based on cost of economics. We're used to free Google Mail. It's being paid for by a number of things. But in any event, it's all being you know, tied back to the service of computing. The reality is, of course, that we don't have an answer for this, but we start to have to look towards this integrated view of getting IT and facilities to sort of evolve at the same rate, which is not possible in the physical world of the building, but the ability to design for the assumption of change and design our systems to allow for the possibility of change in the IT world. This conference covered a wide variety of issues along that way, but from a Darwinian point of view, I believe that economics will drive this and the lowest cost systems will continue to drive the changes. The higher cost systems will eventually die like the dinosaurs. We may not be worrying about vegetation, but ultimately energy efficiency is one aspect and the ability to deliver the most compute in a cost-effective manner will drive it. From there, signing off from Hot Island Side, it's Julius Newdorfer. The future is yours. Hope to see you there.